Hello everyone! I did not plan on picking up the camera today because yesterday I filmed my day in the life and I loved that video. I don't know why it was so boring but I had fun filming it and I had fun editing it. I loved the music. I think I'm going to do more videos like that for sure. But anyways, the reason I need to film right now is because yesterday I put the power steering fluid in my engine and today I parked I'm at my grandma's house currently and I looked I put dragon outside on the tether and so I have to frequently check on him to make sure he's not tangled on anything he he goes underneath the van all the time. So I ended up looking under the van for him and I saw fluid leakage under the front of my van. So my initial thought was it's got to be power steering fluid because I haven't noticed any uh, fluid leaks at all. I don't investigate every time, but I, but I periodically look just to be aware. Plus, remember my coolant, I thought maybe had a leak or something. So, um, I kind of am always looking for that. So, uh, I, it, anyways, the color looks like lime green. And the color of the fluid for the power steering was like a blue color. And um, so, color-wise, it looks like coolant but it might be power steering so right now i'm just gonna go check the power steering fluid levels oh. i just waited about maybe it's been an hour and a half um for the engine to cool down because when the engine's hot the fluids expand so they can look more full steering there's definitely some in here though that's good see that looks like pretty even with uh, what it was yesterday And now I can't even tell what the, like if it's leaking more. The snow is melting here and going, it's going all the way under my car. So now I can't tell where the leak is. Oh my God. The sun was out earlier. And it was like kind of warm. Now it's just freezing cold. Okay, how's it going everyone? I have no idea how this vlog is going to go, uh, or where I'm going to start, or where this clip is going to be inserted, but I've just had a day, a day today. Like it started, you know, snow day, whatever. I knew there was going to be snow. I didn't know there would be so much snow. And I know this like polar vortex or whatever it is, is coming. Well, now it's here, but... I, between my camera battery, that wouldn't stop, to, there is something in my eye right now. I'm sure it's like makeup flew into my eye, but I can't get it out. Or an eyelash or something. Who knows? Okay, so my camera battery kept dying today while I was trying to film something and um, that was annoying. My tripods that I have that are from Walmart are terrible and they like never even stand up with the tiny camera or phone on them. So then I was having to use this like monstrous tripod, um, that I had with my old Canon. I mean, I'm glad I have it because it's really tall, but like to vlog with it, it's not ideal. I ended up not even really using it because my camera kept dying. So this camera has been charging all day and it finally said full. 
but long story short, I need to order a spare so that I'm not in that situation again, but lesson learned. Um, what else has been happening? So shoveling the driveway, that was a chore, which is fine. That's something I am used to doing. I usually shovel the entire driveway just to be nice. But uh, there was a lot of snow and I had to go. I was kind of in a hurry to leave, so that was fine. You guys, I can't believe I just got out of my driveway. Oh, I wish I could have been filming the whole thing. It took me a couple of back and forths to do it. One of my really nice new, uh, nay, I say mine. It's my mom's house. Everything is my mom's, but I just, you know, when it comes to mom's, it feels like whatever's theirs is yours, you know what I mean? So one of my mom's neighbors came over and um, it offered to snow blow the driveway, but I wanted to look cool, so I was like, no, I got it. And I just like barely shoveled enough space. Then, you know, the first gas station I went to, their pay at the pump was broken. All right, we got fuel, but change of plans, I only did the one tank because the thing is, is that I have to do like a whole separate, I have to do two separate transactions. So I just, I didn't want to. At the first gas station, their pay at the pump was closed. I had to go to a different one. So I'm just irritated. And then I, that was just an ordeal. And then, and mind you, these are very first world problems. Like I get that. There are people with like real problems. I'm not trying to minimize anybody's actual problems with the it was just a stressful day is all I'm saying like a frustrating day um, but the real problems are that my battery keeps dying you guys my camera's dead so I couldn't even vlog all this but my battery keeps dying because of the cold but I started it this morning and it died again luckily it started right away with my portable jumper or my portable jump starter, but oh my god, I'm just like, I'm dead after shoveling, you can't really see it, behind my car, I'm not even 100% sure I shoveled enough to get out, but I'm going to try, <sighs> this is what winter is really like, I'm pretty sure it's because of the cold, uh, but this battery is a new battery, because if you've been following my channel for a while, or on my Instagram especially, I, I show really, really current um, and lots of information stuff on my Instagram if you're not following me there and you're interested, you should because I can take all the help I can get. So I go there and I ask a lot of questions and share my problems because a lot of people send me really helpful things. So um, I got this new battery October or November, I can't remember, but either way, it's, it's a brand new battery. I don't uh, some people have suggested that they think it could be the alternator. Um, some people think it could just be the cold, which again, that problem I don't have unless it's cold. What I'm worried about is that if it keeps happening, it will damage the battery um, just in general. So either way, it's not good and probably not normal. The other issue I'm having, and this is a problem I'm having no matter what the weather, and I actually thought it was a hot weather thing. Turns out it's not. So my, my main batteries are connected to my leisure battery through a Sterling battery to battery charger, which automatically turns off when your car is not on because it reads the voltage of your alternator. Um, I think there is a teeny tiny draw from it to your main battery. So if you were going to leave the car for a few weeks, you would maybe turn the kill switch on, uh, on or off. I guess I don't know, but you would cut the power from the main battery to that battery just to be safe. But my understanding is it's such a small power draw. It's like for the little led lights or something. So it would be so small that, um, it shouldn't affect your main battery. But I put a kill switch for that reason. However, there is also a fuse that separates the main battery to the leisure battery. So 
I used two aug wire, which everybody told me that wire's too big, you don't need that big of wire. The, honestly, it like barely fits in the Sterling battery machine. Like it is a huge wire. And, um, and the fuse they told me to get for the Sterling, and this came from the Sterling guys, told me to get a 40 amp fuse. Well, I had a 50 amp already, so I just used that. It's a waterproof, um, whatever made for vehicles fuse. And for whatever reason, it keeps popping. Um, so it's one that it has a little switch that pops in and out. So when it pops and breaks the fuse, you just push it back into place, which I'm lucky for that, that I'm not having to replace a fuse every time. I'm just having to pop it back into place. But I cannot understand why it's breaking because between the wire being so big and the fuse being bigger than what is even required, it shouldn't be pumping so many amps that it's breaking the fuse. So I don't know how to fix that. And it's very frustrating because I'm having a hard time charging my leisure battery enough. And the next couple of days, it's going to be uh, like tonight, it's going to be negative 17. And tomorrow and the next day, it's going to get down to negative 30 with the wind chill, which means I'm probably going to have to pump my heater at a much higher setting than what I've been pumping it. So I'm going to need battery power. Now I sat and I was going to run my car for an hour just sitting here. So my battery could just charge for an hour and it just randomly, the fuse popped randomly. I don't even know at what point. So basically today I've only been able to put an extra 10% on the battery. So I'm at like 69%, which if it goes below 50 and my fridge turns off again, it's not that big of a deal. Like as long as, you know, whatever. Basically, it's just a really frustrating problem. Like I said, I'm at my mom's house. So it's not like if something happens with the van, I have a safe place to go. Um, it's just frustrating because I really don't. I mean, this van is my heart and soul and my home and I really don't want anything to happen to it. And, um, having problems like that are just frustrating because I don't know how to fix it and I want to fix it and I want it to be okay. So the good news is, is I can pop it back into place, which I already did. So before I go to sleep, I plan to run my car for hopefully at least another half an hour and get a little more charge on my battery, but also, um, on my main battery before I go to sleep because it is going to be negative 13 tonight with the wind chill. So I just want to, you know, try and take care of my battery, my main battery as much as possible. Um, I'm also debating, do I set an alarm for like three o'clock in the morning and get up and start my car and let it run for another half an hour just to um, again, maintain that main battery. I don't know. <sighs> and this is all crazy because I don't feel like I need to be in Minnesota right now, except for dragons vet appointments. And, um, that is the only reason I'm here. So if you're watching this and you're like, Jesus woman, like leave, you have a van, you can drive anywhere. You are right, my friend. And I want to leave. I would have left today. Today I had such a day that I was like, I don't even care to be in Minnesota right now, but I have to get dragon stuff taken care of. I mean, he's almost six months and I've kind of procrastinated selfishly for my Florida trip um, already. So, uh, he really needs to finish all of his kitten stuff. So, but what I'm thinking is he has an appointment, today's Thursday, he has his appointment on Monday and that's like the pre neutering appointment. Um, I'm debating if they can't get him in for a neuter, like immediately, then I might just say, look, let me find a vet in California. <laughs> or Arizona or Las Vegas or I don't know anywhere that's even a little warmer it could still be cold 
It's not like this cold and just see if they can send over the blood work there and I can get him neutered somewhere else. And this is just, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, I wanted to film like a really exciting, cute winter vlog. I was gonna film me like frolicking in the snow with my dog and my cat. Like, instead today I was just like hating everything. Anyways, I got these on Amazon. Brahmi beans, or Brahmi is the brand. They're lupini beans which I had never heard of before. I saw an Instagram girl suggest them, so I wanted to try them. But yeah, they come in different flavors. These ones are chili and lime. They're so good. So now, Dragon and I are just gonna watch some Harry Potter. Chill out. And hope we don't freeze to death, you know? Really just hope for the best. Mm. Mm. 